In this video, you'll learn how to use the camera setup feature to configure settings that are in the camera and push them through the NVR's interface. This will apply for WiseNet cameras. We're going to start in the setup menu under camera and camera setup. Then from the drop down, you'll choose the channel you want to work with. The options that you see here will vary based on the camera that you have. We'll start in the SSDR menu. That stands for Smart Super Dynamic Range. This lets you bring up more detail from dark parts of the scene. Typically, you'll want to leave this enabled. You can adjust the level and the dynamic range. Some people prefer wide, some people prefer narrow. All depends on how dark your scene is. As you make changes in these menus, the changes will be sent to the camera right away and you'll see the change take effect within a couple seconds. Next is backlight or WDR. There are some other modes depending on the camera that you have. In most cases, if you have bright lighting or difficult and changing lighting conditions, you'll want WDR turned on and you can adjust the level from there. There are additional options in the camera's web page menu for some of the camera series, so keep that in mind. Next is the exposure menu, which has lots of items to adjust. Things like the shutter speed, brightness, noise reduction, etc. Make sure the minimum shutter speed is always set to 1 over 30 or faster. If it's set too slow, you might have some ghosting in your image. Next is the day-night menu. This is where we can set up if the camera switches to black and white and color automatically. Here you can see we forced it into black and white mode. We can force it into color mode or typically we'll leave it at auto to switch automatically. We can then adjust the dwell time and the duration of how quickly it switches uh, to those different modes. The special menu lets you configure the image stabilization and the defog if needed. In the focus menu, we can perform a focus initialize. That's to get the lens position set the first time when you have a brand new camera. We can do a simple focus for a one-time focus adjustment, and we can do manual adjustment of the zoom and focus position to get the field of view that you want. You can push the plus or minus buttons in different increments to adjust that zoom or focus. Once you get the camera close, then you can push simple focus to do a automatic focus. If the focus options are grayed out, that means you have a manual focus camera or camera that does not have motorized zoom lens options. The video rotation menu lets you enable hallway mode. This will reboot the camera, so just be aware that it will take a minute or two for the camera to finish. We also have mirror and flip, which allows you to adjust the camera in case the imager is upside down. The last option is the privacy area. You can enable it, and then you can add an area. Each area you can set a color and a name for that zone, and then you click and drag that box on the video window. Some cameras also have the ability to do a mosaic, so you can somewhat see through it. And then you can repeat that, creating multiple areas or delete one or all of them. To learn more about this and other exciting Hanwha products, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at hanwhasecurity.com.